the airlift, the more it comes, the more we'll be using it to do like peace building activities in those places where people are like very vulnerable to hunger, to help them not to join in the militias. Because how can people listen to the message of peace if they have not eaten for the past three days? Muslim ladies, Christian ladies, they come together. A lady, she said, I saw my, my neighbor. Uh, she's not from my religion. She's not a Muslim lady, but uh, she's a Christian woman. I gave him a small share of what I received uh, from, from Aegis and from uh, the, the partners that sent the food. That, that, that neighbor, we, we never spoke before. We, we, we are in the same, in the same quarter, we, but we, we, there is nothing. But that by the time I gave her the flower, the wall that was there was broken. And since that time up till now, she said, we, we, we greet each other every morning. We, there is a kind of link uh, there is a kind of tie that put us together and we, we exchange on our daily trug- uh, uh, struggles and troubles. Uh, we exchange on our problems. And then we, we find out that this siege is affecting uh, all the communities, not only affecting Muslims, not only affecting Christians, but it affects everybody. So uh, this is what the, the airlift is doing. It is not only solving hunger problems, but it is also dispatching and conveying the message of peace in the different communities where the food is being distributed.